Hi, I hope you've already discovered the library's homepage and maybe even bookmarked it. If you haven't, just type isu.edu slash library into your address bar or find the library's book icon and the quick links on any ISU page. The main feature we have on our website is the search box called OneSearch. This tool searches almost everything we have access to, so you'll usually find something helpful. Let's do a quick search on fast fashion and limit the results by using some of the features below the search bar. First, click on the All Filters button to access multiple options. To see only full text or peer-reviewed articles, use the buttons here. Additionally, we can limit the age of the articles. When we need other types of sources, use the Source Type button to see the options. Let's click the peer-reviewed button and now we're down to much fewer results. As you can see, OneSearch is a great tool. Just realize it is used for broad searching. The next tab is our library catalog. This searches primarily for books and eBooks. The default is to search by keyword, so the terms fast fashion will appear in summaries and titles. To find the books in the library, we can use the location, call number, and status information. Bring your ISU ID card to check these out. Ebooks and government documents can be accessed online through these links. Now, let's move to the databases tab. These are collections of information organized by topic, such as nursing, history, and biology. If we know which database we want, we can browse for it here. If not, click view all and select by subject. For example, let's choose chemistry. This approach will bring up the most reputable databases for that subject, and you can click on a link to dive into your research. Back on the library homepage, under the Journals by Title tab, we can search for journals, magazines, and newspapers by title. If we have a citation with a journal's name, we can use that to search as well. Let's search for the Journal of Chemistry. Here we can find the exact journal we wanted. Underneath Full Text Access, we can see the databases with full text coverage for this journal and the dates of availability. Clicking on a database will take you to a page where you can search within the publication, browse by date, or view every issue available. Next up is the Subject Guides tab. These guides are collections based on topics, majors, or courses. Let's view the Nursing Guide. It includes links to relevant databases, information on how to find books and articles, how to cite sources, and more. If you're in Health Sciences, scroll down on the library homepage and click on the Health Sciences Library link. This includes similar tabs like the ones on the library's homepage, however, all results and collections are going to be focused on health sciences resources. On the library homepage, there are drop-down menus. In Libraries and Collections, you can learn about the ISU libraries in Meridian and Idaho Falls, as well as collections like Law, Health Sciences, or the Special Collections. In the How Do I drop-down, we will find links to the answers for our most frequently asked questions, such as how to borrow or renew books and pay fines. Next, in the About section, we'll find links to our hours, floor plans, and subject librarians. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, you can contact a librarian specializing in your topic in subject librarians. Following that, under the Contact Librarians menu, you can find a full list of all librarians to get general help. Access your library and interlibrary loan accounts through the My Library Accounts menu, where you can also pay any fines or fees. Finally, at the bottom of the homepage, you can reserve a study room. Just select your location, click on the green boxes for the times you want, scroll down to click Submit Times, review the terms and conditions, then click continue. Enter your information and submit your booking. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel and check out all of our other videos. Go Bengals!